everyone, Dylan Jones with Frontier Precision, back again with another uh, Tech Talk. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how to take a surface that looks like this. This was generated from scan data. You can see the curb line looks awfully messy. Very typical um, result that you would get from any sort of LiDAR or point cloud data. So to take it from looking like that to something that looks like this. So stay tuned to see how I did that. Okay, so first things first, what we want to do is use our uh, line string tools or some of the automated uh, or semi-automated um, feature extraction tools to generate line work on our curb and get those break lines established so that we can use those in our final surface. So again, using either the CAD line string tool, create point tool, or if you're brave enough and you want to use the new extract line feature commands for curb and gutter, uh, that's actually what I did. I used the curb and gutter extraction to draw in each of these uh, four surface members. So we will be using those to define our final surface here in a little bit. So next thing that we wanna do is go ahead and sample our point cloud. So you can see this is the full density point cloud from an SX10 scanner. Uh, we have plenty of definition to be able to draw in those break lines, but what we wanna do is downsample that to decimate the point cloud for our final surface. So to do that, we're going to use the sample region command. And let's go ahead and sample it down to half a foot. That should be enough for this smaller surface. You might wanna do something a little bit more decimated um, if you have a wide area or a, a larger project. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose half a foot there and store that as a new point cloud region. And there you can see uh, my half foot region over here in my view filter manager. Okay, so now I'm going to choose that region and um, you can go a couple different ways here. I would uh, probably go ahead and choose the filter point cloud tool. Uh, that is how I'm going to filter out the points that are on or near the curb. That way uh, it doesn't muddy up my curb uh, in my surface. So let's go ahead and launch that tool. We're going to go ahead and choose a line string and use the filter by CAD line alignment tool. So we are filtering this point cloud data set, this point cloud region, which is my half foot region. And we are going to um, filter that based on one of these four line strings that I have here. Uh, so let's actually take a look at what, what line strings I have first before we get into that tool. I have this gutter line string. And to make things a little easier, I'm going to give it a specific name, uh, gutter ref for reference. And that way I can find it really easy in my filter point cloud tool. So now we launch that filter point cloud tool. We're going to filter by CAD line slash alignment. And we are going to find that gutter ref line string here in our list. So this is going to list off all the, all the line strings or uh, potential uh, uses here for this filter. And there it is. We're going to check the box for is used and just make sure that is still displaying here in the list. There it is, gutter ref is used. And the point cloud region selection is going to be my half foot point cloud region here. Um, we are going to sample this uh, point cloud region around this line. Okay, so we are gonna add in a couple offsets here. We're going to use the distance from CAD line alignment. Uh, distance to the left, let's do, um, let's do two feet to the left and two feet to the right just to try out here and see what that comes up with there there are some additional options um, well I guess one option here for a new region prefix we'll just go ahead and leave it at that and hit the compute button now what this should do is find all the points within two feet of that gutter line and assign it to a new region with that prefix so let's uh, use our uh, view filter manager here to turn off our original sample point cloud and now it should just be displaying the points within the two feet left and two feet right of that gutter line 
Okay, so what is special about this tool is it helps us just basically automate that selection of point cloud data. And we can um, just reassign it to a different region that we aren't going to use in this case. So really just cleaning up the data around those curb lines uh, so that I'm only using um, the point cloud data outside of the two feet um, and just my break lines for the, for the surface here coming up. So let's go ahead and close or cancel out of our filter point cloud tool. And now it's time to create our surface. So let's open up the surfaces tab, go to create surface. Let's give our surface a name. Uh, let's call it new surface clean. Then we can populate all, all of the uh, properties here, uh, mainly focusing on my members that I want to form the surface with, which is going to be my half foot point cloud region. And then I'm going to hold my control button on my keyboard and select these break lines, which are also going to be part of my surface. And so that's what I have for my selection. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we should have a surface with a nice clean curb. And we might need to edit a few things here, like these longer triangles. Um, those are really easy to clean up. Um, a quick and easy tool here being the maximum edge length. Let's just set that to 10 feet. And uh, that looks really good. Another thing that I would maybe advise in the project settings is uh, if you look under computations, surface is changing up your break line approximation parameters, uh, both the tolerances and the maximum sampling distance. That can go a long ways with the accuracy of your surface and just the overall look of it. Okay, so let's turn off the point cloud region and let's turn off the curb lines and just take one last look at this. And you can see that it is very clean around the curb area. No um, spikes in the surface where there might be snow or uh, potentially leaves in the gutter. And it just looks super clean. So that's what I have for you here today in this video. Hopefully you found that beneficial and we'll join us again next time.